Hey, Finnegar, I just want to clarify. Is this a real war? Uh, Poland's going to be uh, fine. Both Scandinavia and the PLC have teamed up to take down Muscovy and to prevent its attempts at expansion. Now, why is this alliance formed? Well, the formation of a united Russia requires the annexation of Novgorod and Peskov, two nations in the Scandinavian sphere of influence in 1836, with Peskov starting as a Scandinavian puppet. Furthermore, Russia often cores large parts of Polish Lithuanian territory. Instead of giving concessions or having the risk of a large threat, nations have decided to simply prevent the threat of a massive Russia from ever existing. Although the numbers are over 2 to 1, we still do have some advantages. First up is the Novgorod AI, which is currently busy fighting the AI nation of Nogai, keeping it occupied for the time being. Next is the fact that half of Poland's armies are actually from his AI sub-states. While he does have the ability to control the armies, he cannot manage the quality or amount of brigades that are built by the AI. The last and most important advantage is that Scandinavia is currently fighting a different war. In fact, he's currently fighting most of Europe, in an attempt to defeat the dual monarchy in Bohemia with the help of Burgundy, meaning that Scandinavia's armies will be too busy to assist in the Polish invasion and might end up too weakened to put up a large fight. However, Poland-Lithuania starts the game with a very large army on its own, which is currently marching to the Muscovite border. I rolled a zero, two, and nine. <laughs> Shark They're getting unsphere Poland. Uh, sure, in a minute. <laughs> Why are you attacking them? <laughs> They're attacking Another me.
entire army. Does anyone have well, any spare, he has, he has anyone have any spare cheddar to support the Muscovin uh, independence war? Wait, what? Muscovy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, well, well, uh -oh. America is dead. My guy's dead. How's your war against Jovert going, Big Weevil? Wait, wait, you're supposed to go here. Can't supply. Don't worry, I Jovert's hubris will be his downfall. I mean, I, I really can't do too much to stop it. It's just an early game thing. Yeah, you'll come back. I mean. Supply is like uh, PLC has the sphere. Oh, he doesn't actually. What, I what? got him removed, but I didn't get him removed soon enough. Like, my army just doesn't resupply. Makes sense. If you guys want to start justifying a CB on Poland, I'd do it now. I don't think we can afford to fight <laughs> Poland. Yeah, GG. Uh, GG. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. Oh, fuck off with that one. I'm not accepting that. What did he add? He added, he added Moscow. I'm not accepting that. You can full oh. save me. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he fucking it's Joe, but demob uh, and remo, baby, fuck. Yeah. Fucking over it. Uh, he just fucking. Yeah, he's on oh a power trip. <laughs> he is on a. <laughs> Honestly, Weevil, you need to go to Nam. Fuck it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not nation swapping. Dude, respect... Weevil, you need to fucking buckle down, commit, and kill him. Come on, you can't play the long game. My plan is just we to win this break on Novgorod for like a decent small maybe, maybe. piece. But if he's gonna maybe. scum over this, there's nothing. Like, I'm, I'm maybe. fucking. Weevil, Weevil, once we win this, Al and I have reasons to partition Bolin. We can. You, Wait, yeah. you if you just need to play the long game, man. Do it. No, no, I want Galicia, dude. If I'm not going into the Balkans, I want as much land as possible. Yeah, Classic. you can get pressure and stuff. Fuck sakes. Jobert's hubris was his downfall. It was. He flew too close to the sun. He flew too close to Moscow. Remobilization would be this effective. Yeah. I mean, you're Russia, man. I'm Muscovy. Oh, 
o'clock is on your money. Alrighty. Uh, World Recessions hitting Taiping as well. Fine, whatever. I will. Taiping, why don't you fund the Novgorod or the Muscovite resistance to hug boxing? I yes. will give you. I will give you another hundred k. Uh, hungry when I can. Oh, okay. Oh, but not to the. He's pulling out of resistance. Sorry, big weevil. Yeah, he you're, just moved too you're a it, too yeah. high risk investment. Mm. Actually, Aragon sent you surrender. Uh, finally, I surrendered. Oh, we did it, boys. We did Whoa. it. Yeah. We did it. It's on over. I am, are, I'm are going you guys... back. Are the, are, the, are the German Hungarians willing to come liberate Muscovy? I'm Honestly. down after I burn some infamy. Honestly, stop attacking. Give me a minute. It's a containment. Okay, you to... get a containment CB right I, now. I'm, I'm gonna just... unsiege my whole country. Really? Yeah, no, I'll help you. I do want some land though. That's why. But I'm down. Sure. If oh, I was willing, I, I need him. Yeah, I can't yeah. do that. Get my shit together. Good shit. He's got all this stuff insane. here, and it's super and... deorged because of my guerrilla war. Plastic, no remote to murder Poland? Uh, I'm gonna remote. Don't worry. Now I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I can get something out of this. All right, maybe you can listen. Finnegar's gonna sit at 25 war exhaustion for the duration of this war. Yeah, he's, he's being stupid. Shouldn't let Joba drag him down like this. Who's in this channel? After, after, if, after we get this peace sword, I'm gonna demob and remob and I might intervene on PLC. Yes. I need a remob anyway for the fucking rebels. Fuck it. So I'll be ready. Alright. You guys could also get like all the war score on Poland because I'm at negative 50 as the as like myself because of my occupation. Yeah, I'd like so. a state. I right, sounds good. I mean, I'll see if I can even get over there in time. I don't know how, how much longer do you think you can last. Uh, he can I'm, last. I'm lasting no, a lot no. better now. I, I'm starting to like look at this shit, dude. Look at this guerrilla war. <laughs> like I remobed and I killed like half his army. <laughs> nice. Honestly, yeah, he just needs us to give him a little nudge. We can take some states off of Poland and. Oh, help I just him quick wiped him. I just wiped his army. Who, who Poland? I wiped yeah. half his army. Oh, you did. You wiped ten brigades. Fuck it. <laughs> Dude, like. I'll and now I'm in a defensive battle. It's over, Jobert. He, it's over. He's got no commander, and you're in defensive when there's oh, so no. many brigades. Wait, 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 wait how yeah. many brigades is that? Ah. Oh. Oh, it's me. over, Jobert. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jover. He's trying it's to carpet siege you. He's, try he's trying to carpet siege you like it's EU4. No, problem. dude, he, he was like near Moscow, but my mobs just came up and I just murdered him. I don't even care. I, 
But no, I, I don't. I don't like that PLC shit. He's trying to kill you too early. So even if you end up going against me late game, I'll, I'll fucking. I'm gonna intervene on that regardless. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't have too much of an issue if they didn't do the Novgorod meme. I find that retarded. Yeah, definitely a little bit. Although Plastic did do it to Pierre once. <laughs> Dude, in my defense, he said he wanted to kill me for no, the Balkans. No, like at least in that That's war, true. like Scandinavia, like helped, like you like as Scandinavia war. fought the war. It's him joining the war just to be able to call PLC in. Yes, I got the stack wipe off. I can't add yet. I can't add yet. Jobert's at one brigade. Jobert's uh, at one brigade. I can add it now. I'll peace out for everything started then. Jobert, just peace right. out for the Novgrod, dude. You're at one brigade. This war is not worth fighting over. No, no, right. no. Jobert, I I this isn't a death for... war. This isn't CB on you. I'm not peacing this, out. This is the time to just Sorry. admit that it's a loss. The, c the peace is not I wish it a loss. It's only going to get... Finnegan, Jeez, why, why do you still entertain the idea that this war is not only one worth fighting, but winnable? It's because I look at your country and I see it looking very much siege down. Look at his we army, dude. Out. One brigade, you're both infamy locked, and you have 30 wards, <laughs> yeah. Austin. Look at my puppets, that's like puppets. 60 brigades. Yeah. Shark, sure, come on. You guys just gotta declare war on him and join this. It's, it's just ridiculous. Look yeah, at your own country, bro. I I'm not asking for states off of him. I just want the one core off and off. You, 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 yeah, you're the you're momming shit. Just, Look at the state um, of your I'm country. I'm literally killing your army jo in Moscow. Jobert, Jobert, uh, Jobert, Jobert. Yeah, I know you're, Jobert. I know you're, I know you're, I know Jobert, listen, for. listen to me. I know you're 16 and very riled up, but you have one brigade, dude. Like you staying I in this war is actually. Brigades. I don't know. Listen, keep the war. Can you just, follow up and reinforce now, me? And, uh, you're just starting a cycle of death war. Or anywhere. Can you just see if, like, Scandi can intervene to, like, piece the shit out? Yeah, Scandi, uh, okay. Even if you do me. join, I'm just gonna keep remobbing. You don't have the land to well, remob. There's nothing You're to remob I down. can remob 30 brigades in the two provinces there are battles in. Well, then Yeah, but your army is gone. I am! I have the army right now. Scandi, can you this just- This is frankly ridiculous. Oh, yeah. left here? This is effectively a white peace between us. No. Because Scandi is still in this war. Shark, this and... is frankly ridiculous. What? Just because I'm He's not trying to peace out? Like, I don't even want states off him at this point. You, you're at this point? You're off of states. I just want the core off of... Yeah, Russia. you're asking for states. It's a fucking one province core! Scandi, oh. are you in here? Yeah. Can you send shit over? Yeah, sure. Well, it, it won't be hard, then. And if virtual Dude, rock they're, they're kill refusing him again. to piece this, and I think Scandi's gonna start sending brigades. Could you just end this quickly? We're, we're gonna declare on him in a minute. We have to contain him, though. We can't join your war. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm gonna do that too, and I have five. I, I'm not a big factor, but. Do I you guys five. have any money you could give me? No, I do. I only have like 10k left. Right. I'm like completely bankrupt. Just give me a second. I might be able to source. I also have to demob and remob because I'll get the Elvians too, so. Uh, Blackus, could you give a kind and merciful donation to the Death War? Could you give a kind and merciful donation to the Death War? And also, Novgorod is in the war and has. Tell you what, Big, Big Weevil, uh, China supports you. I will give you. I will give you a grant of 50k. No, no, you don't have to pay me back. Holy shit, this is gold. This is gold. <laughs> you should request the grant. I'll give you 1,000. I support. I support Muscovy requests. I did. Yeah, I support the host not knowing. How, All right, how much Shark, do you, you could need? Sphere me now. Um, All right, 
I can mobilize. Send us back in to help me clear out Augsburg. That's it. That's all. That's uh, I, I guarantee the moment that you deck, they'll probably just like give up. Oh, are you killing PLC? Uh, I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, let me just let me remo. Just give me seventy days. Jobert has to give me something. Oh, Elbian. Dude, come on. Nice. Like this is this is now. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Uh, just declare and call me in plastic. Declare on Jobert. Oh, okay. Whenever you're ready. He's not allied to uh, Burgundy. You so. may not declare. I have an alliance. Oh, I have to break the alliance first. Wait, my bad. I'll declare. I'm gonna declare and call you in. Fine. And you can take. Pause uh, for me. You can take I Danzig. I pause. I pause. Danzig and Posen. I maybe I'll get Galicia off of this, so might be nice. You probably will. I have no infamy, so I will need some from somewhere. Uh, you're gonna decay below. Um, you're at twenty-two point three. Um, so you just need to lose one. Unless they yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, I'll have to see some stuff down, so that'll, that'll give us some time. You just stay white piece. Oh, he accepted white piece. Yep. I'm sending you, I'm accepted. sending you white piece. Peace. Peace yeah, in our time. G, I guess. Peace, everyone. Uh, wow. No, no, there's no fucking Grand Columbia War, so it's gonna be one no. speed for longer. No, no, now it's up to Scandi and Muscovy. <laughs> oh my god, this is the fucking nut. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting out of the, yeah. uh, this. Is now, uh, Scandi, uh, let's go through the fucking. Oh, wait, wait, oh, Scandi's still in the war? Right? Fuck, I didn't think about that. Um, don't, don't worry about it. it. Jobert didn't think. Jobert didn't think. Shut up, Fetty, you're playing Fennis. <laughs> <laughs> At least I partially won a war, okay? You did, partially you did jack shit. Fennis <laughs> won a war, mate. He won a war? Yeah, what did yeah. you gain? <laughs> He contributed a lot, to be fair. I I gained a yeah. He likes contributing and getting nothing out of it. Boy and killing dude, Finnegar, I love that joke. Your ally literally left the war. Dude. So, uh, yeah, Finnegar, are you sure you want to keep fighting this? Uh, who's asking? Uh, Boland. All oh, right. Why would I stop? <laughs> He's come this far. Why stop? I mean. Don't say Senator, I wasn't I'm talking to this right? I'm gonna be mobilized. I'm gonna okay. puppet Novgorod if we're gonna keep this war going. Puppet Novgorod then, if you can. Alright.
I'd like to say that after Scandinavia lost his army, that I had occupied all the way to Sweden, or negotiated a favorable peace deal. However, wars can't always end so grandly. After the Great Moscow Offensive, Scandinavia vowed to end Sieg the war, they would keep fighting, as it hurt myself far more than him. The host of the game told him that nation ruining over a small conflict like this wouldn't be allowed, so the original player left. The new Scandinavia player saw the war for what it was, a conflict that wasn't worth fighting, and peace me out for the Koran Novgorod. As for the war itself, it was so long and fought in so many different stages that I can't look at every single part of it, but I'll try to look at the most important moments. First, why did the PLC win so easily in their initial push? Simply put, supply. My army was never able to reinforce throughout the war. At the start of the game, Novgorod starts in the Scandinavian sphere of influence, the PLC starts in the Bohemian sphere of influence, and Muscovy starts in no sphere of influence. With the entire world at war, there's simply no extra goods to purchase on the world market. I hadn't prepared well enough to enter into a sphere of influence, or to remove Poland from Bohemia's sphere. Even though I acted with better general micro, organization, and even had an offensive battle turned defensive through a glitch, if you can't reinforce an army, it means nothing. Although, with this in mind, how could I lose so much and still come out triumphant after remobilizing? Well, after defeating my army, the PLC decided to spread his army out to carpet siege my nation, unaware that simply having an army on a province doesn't stop the risk of armies rising up. Instead, it simply spread the PLC army far too thin to prevent these new brigades. The PLC army was also unable to reorganize at this point, as I had gotten Poland removed from the Bohemian sphere. An additional factor unknown to me at the time was the fact that the PLC substates had not mobilized until after the PLC had lost most of his army, as the AI considered the Novgorod Scandinavian PLC alliance so strong that it didn't need the extra units. Ironically, Scandinavia's move of joining the war with Novgorod hurt the PLC the most. However, the most decisive factor in the war was foreign support for Muscovy. The Albians and Hungary saw their Scandinavian enemies' intervention to destroy the balance of power in Eastern Europe as a future threat to themselves, as the Scandinavian-Polish alliance would most certainly turn west eventually. The fact that I held on for so long despite the odds showed to the Albians that the war was still winnable, and secured their intervention. Ultimately, the problem of the enemy alliance was their unwillingness to coordinate together, Instead of trying to only fight one war in 1837, Scandinavia and the PLC decided to fight two, splitting their forces and losing them both. If the PLC was involved in Western Europe or Scandinavia and Eastern Europe at the start, victory in either war they chose could have been assured. Another strange oddity was why Poland and Scandinavia kept fighting the war for so long despite the fact that the conflict seemed less and less winnable by the day. Perhaps it was the fact that victory appeared so closely in their hands, that they had lost so much and couldn't afford to lose more. Ultimately, they claimed they couldn't unmake themselves enemies of Muscovy, and had to continue the war to hurt my nation as much as possible. So that begs the question, were the PLC in Scandinavia hurting myself more than them? Were they nation ruining? First, let's look at Scandinavia. By the time they committed to the war, they had lost Pomerania and Lowlands to Bohemia and the dual monarchy. In addition to having a low brigade count and moderate war exhaustion, Scandinavia decided to bail out the PLC to fight the Muscovite army for two years, with the aim of getting Russian territory, which is extremely illiterate with poor resources. Instead, Scandinavia should have rebuilt their nation, expanded colonially, and prepared to rematch the dual monarchy. During the span of the war, the European partition of India and much of Southeast Asia came and went, leaving Scandinavia behind. Two years after the War of Russian Independence, the dual monarchy attacked the weakened Scandinavia for the remainder of Scotland, meeting zero resistance. Scandinavia's involvement in the war cost them not only their ability to expand, but their ability to defend their own country. Next is Poland. Although they practically won the war at first, their hubris and ambition to annex all of Muscovy unleashed an even greater fight that would take them down. By the time the PLC had been pieced out, they themselves only had one professional brigade, were at 27 infamy from the two CBs they had wasted, and they had alienated their two strongest neighbors. The PLC still clung on to the idea that they had previously won the war and they deserved their territory, despite the changing circumstances. Now, let's look at the damage done to ourselves. During the war, due to occupations and battles, 300,000 Muscovite pops were killed, an even larger figure when you account for the fact that zero pop growth occurred in that time. Although these numbers really are massive for the early game, the war allowed me to pass healthcare reforms and to ban serfdom, increasing pop growth overall in the long run. Although all nations suffered greatly, to truly put it into scale, 
we need to look at the aftermath of the war. In the years following, Scandinavia declined into an even lesser power, failing to regain its European holdings, or expand colonially. Without the ability to deal with an extra enemy, Scandinavia opted to allow Muscovy to annex Novgorod and Peskov, forming Russia in the process. The PLC attempted to gain the Crimean regions from Muscovy, through a promise to not invade for 20 years. However, the offer was firmly declined. In the years following, the Albians, Hungary, and myself simply partitioned Poland Lithuania to little resistance. Russia rose in power, becoming a great power nation with one of the largest armies in Europe. The point being, sometimes a slight concession or show of restraint is the difference between great power and irrelevancy.